you for calling Call Center 2000. I'm speaking. Would you like to hear about today's very, very special sale? Yeah. Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to get out. Yes. I uh, no, sir. Uh, been hard at it since uh, 8 this morning. Yeah. No. No one's no one's bought any, which I mean is weird because I would think that the oral history of America audiobook series would be a huge seller. Yes. No, I I know I can sell this because I actually have a lot of history with oral uh, oral history of America audiobooks, so yay. Yes, yes. Don't worry. <laughs> I will be sucking the buyers hardcore, sucking them in hardcore. Uh, I got this. I'm the late one. That simpleton that shows up to work an hour after the clock starts. Yeah, that's me. Normally this is the part where I would say I hate it and I wish I could change and be like all the other do-gooders around here, but not today. I do not want to be here. See, I've always wanted to be a voice acting superstar. And this is my big chance. Registration was at eight this morning and I had to make sure I got in. But reality sinks in. I only have two weeks. Yes. I have two weeks to come up with the frustratingly large entry fee. I had to write them a post-data check that's going to bounce. They're not gonna like it, but according to the rules, so long as I have the bread before the call time, I'm golden. I'm gonna have to sell my ass off. <laughs> but, you know, for this voice acting superstar, being a call center girl is a piece of cake, like cherry cake or raspberry cake, whatever. I'm not really that picky. <gasps> Call Center 2000, Emma speaking. Would you like to hear about today's very, very special sale? 